This is how we install our, uh, on our portables. This is the anchor that goes into our portable fabric buildings. And this is the hydraulic head and the six inch flighting that goes in. And you can see the amount of pressure that it takes to get these in and how much pressure it would take to pull these things out of the ground. So fairly easy when you have the equipment to do it. And if you're not able to use our factory supplied anchors, there's many other options uh, for fastening down our buildings, such as concrete blocks, a ballast system. Uh, we've had people actually uh, out in Ontario, we have uh, dug down to the bedrock there and hilted into the bedrock and used chains to come up to the rafters. So if, if you're thinking, oh, well, the anchors aren't gonna work for me, we'll make it work for your uh, situation. The concrete blocks uh, works by either A, you hilty, your turnbuckle onto the concrete block and to the rafter hole right here and uh, or else you can use a chain system down to the concrete block or to the rock or to the bedrock. The ballast system um, would work with a water drum and uh, you fill up the water drum or you could put in uh, gravel into the drum as well. So many different solutions that we have for many different types of soil and ground conditions. So this is the process here on how the rafters are gonna get lifted up. Skid steer picks up the rafter, lifts it up right here. The, the scissor lift is gonna drive underneath. And when it's placed down on, this, uh, on the scissor lift here, the guys will pick up the ends and walk it back so the ends don't dig in. And then the guy comes out of the skid steer to give us a hand here. And the guys in the scissor lift are obviously tied in. Safety is a major concern with us. And you know, you got uh, overhead stuff happening all the time. So as they walk it back here, the scissor lift is gonna get in place in line with these nipples here. And uh, then as the, as the lift lifts up, the rafter comes towards it and we place it right in line with these nipples. And then it's just uh, a male into a female end. So we're getting ready to pull this 46-100 tarp. Our base tubes, our tarp tubes, sorry, have been placed inside the tarp pockets. The bottom side has been ratcheted down to the base tube. Our ropes are thrown over down to our pulley systems. And now they're connected to the three trucks that we're gonna use to pull this uh, tarp over. So whenever the guys are ready here, we'll, uh, we'll get, this, get this tarp pulled. I think so, yeah, good to go, go, go. Nice and easy. Go, 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 go. Good. Back her up. That was a very good pull. Very good pull. So the guys now are putting in the high tension kit. And what happens is they push those PVC through the pocket that's sewn in into the main tarp. After the high tension kit goes in, uh, the storm flap gets pulled over and it'll come past this main rafter and then the high tension kit ratchets come around here and pull the, pull the fabric each way this way super tight so you can bounce it like a drum. And for the project uh, it went very well. Uh, the main components are to have a somewhat level pad to start with. Uh, making sure that your anchors go in uh, and going well and to have a trained crew like having the proper equipment are the major keys and mother nature cooperating obviously you can't pull this when it's windy so uh, yeah everything went really well today and uh, the guys did a good job.